Gary, tough day at the office. Um, <coughs> I don't know what, really what to say. York were quicker at everything that they did, yeah. even though um, we created a few things in the first half. We were just slow motion compared to York, and uh, the scoreline probably suggests how, uh, how on top they were. Embarrassed, really embarrassing. Apologise to the supporters who made the trip over from Unsley because that is not acceptable and that is not what I expect of the players and that's not what we expect going into a playoff series and if we play like that for the remaining four games we won't make the five, simple as. Um, and the players need to take a long hard look at themselves. I thought we'd had a real good week to prep this year, this week. Um, as good as it's been all season, our preparation was superb. But um, as soon as uh, they crossed the whitewash onto the pitch, some of them just, I don't know, just went out of the reds. and. Ill discipline, poor end of sets, uh, you name it, if it could have gone wrong today it did do and uh, like I said I can only apologise to the fans that made the trip over because uh, that is not acceptable. Uh, there was a period, I think it was the last 20-25 minutes when you just couldn't get out of their own half and, and it was compounded by really mistake after mistake that you know, kicks that go out on the full, kicks that hit people in offside positions, yeah. knock-ons, uh, and when you invite a side like York in, into possession 40 metres from your own line, there's only going to be one outcome, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, we've got beat by the basics of rugby league, like you said, we two half-backs neither could control the game and kick well. Uh, both managed to kick out on the full from inside our own half. The amount of ball that we turned over inside our first half, inside our half, especially in the first half, was just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It's not like us, normally we're pretty good coming out of exit and we usually get to the kick and, and, and that part of our game has been pretty good most of the year but today it was horrendous and like I said some of the last tackle choices was just, I don't know where it came from because it's, it's certainly not what we're trained to do and it's certainly not what we're coached to do. Um, so yeah, it's give us a bit of a bit of food for thought really going forward because uh, you know players are, are up for contracts, uh, renewals and the rest of it and um, some of them uh, may, have, may have had a decision made on them today based on what they've served up so I'm bitterly disappointed and we'll take an ownership as, as a coaching team because uh, obviously we have to be uh, accountable but I think the players do also and um, I'll defend them to the hilt if I think that they deserve defending but I'm not sure how much of that performance I can actually defend. Uh, how much of it do, uh, comes in that, that the guys in, in the opposition have got that Super League experience and probably a higher level, um, so they're under, uh, they can think under a little bit more pressure, although I'm not sure how much pressure they were under today, it's just everything that went for them just went for them and everything that Unslit tried to do yeah. was just... Yeah, they got they got the rub of the green, didn't they? A lot of the stuff that they did came off, you know. They got they got a lot of the 50-50 calls, uh, without a doubt. Um, I think that's fair to say. You know, they did get the rub of the green, but uh, when you look at the bench, you know, they're bringing on, like you said, their Super League players coming on, and Norman Royd and this Aussie guy who's played NRL, and you know, no disrespect, but our bench, you know, probably probably didn't have the same impact as theirs, and. Um, you know, I think that, that's the difference, the strength in depth, and then of course they're backing it up with the OK Adjunct Reg players. So the players that were at Ford's disposal today and the players that were at our disposal today, you know, you'd have to have a look and say that's that's probably why the scoreline is what it is. And uh, and that's up to me and, and Darren and the rest of the board to to resolve and, and work out how we strengthen this club and how we get some um, some players in that uh, that could compete with uh, with York in, in this current vein of form because that's what it will take to get out of this division and that's what we need to do. Is it getting to a stage now when, when the likes of, of I think Bradford have been turned over by Workington They're today? Really? Yeah. Um, so it puts York up on top, but are we getting to a stage where to really to get out we're going to need a dual registration with a Super League club or should we be able to get the results? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to talk about dual reg here and it's the wrong time really, I've never been a fan of it, never have been. Um, it works for some clubs, it doesn't for others and, and, and it all depends at which players you've got at your disposal at which time, but I don't think today's the debate for for Super League, I think it's all about putting a squad of players together that compete at this level and on your own right and like I said, dual reg either works or it doesn't and it depends who's available for you at the time and for York at the moment it's working for them and fair play to them for, for doing it, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do but I'd rather 
um, get a squad of players that are unslip players and um, put a squad together that's good enough to compete. Um, that's my philosophy, uh, right or wrong, that's what I'll stick to. I've always had that philosophy and um, I'll continue with that and if people don't like it then you know that, 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 that's how it is. But um, I want unslip players that are signed for unslip, wearing unslip kit because they're unslip players, not because they've been borrowed from a Super League club. Fortnight off, um, probably not off, <laughs> no, um, and getting guys in for training. Uh, next match up, yeah. presuming that, uh, that there'll be a little bit of said with, within the players' group, and it's up to them now to start looking at those last four games and saying, I this think is so. The mark. Yeah, I think so. You know, we've, uh, like I said, we all, we're all accountable, um, coaches, players alike. You know, we can do as much prep as we want in midweek, but as soon as they walk over that whitewash, it's down to them. But they need to have a long, hard look at themselves without a doubt. And like I said, if we're serious, if we are really serious about making a challenge for promotion this year, we've got to be much, much better than that. And, um, and we've got to be able to compete with the top five teams in the division and with where we play today. We, we didn't we didn't compete we were we were dreadful in every aspect of the game and uh, like I said I've got to have a look at that a long hard look at that and decide who we think deserves to be here next year and who doesn't well thanks very much I know it's tough coming out when uh, on the back of those sorts of defeats um, onwards and upwards and we've yep. still got games to go and absolutely you've got it you know I'll take the rough as well I'm not hide behind any I'm not hide I'll, I'll come out and, and speak you know no matter what the result and it's all right getting slaps on the back against Emil and, 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 and West Wales and putting points against those teams but at the end of the day these are the games that count these are the big ones and you need big game players in this division if you want to get out and at the moment we don't have enough of them all right thank you Gary okay no worries